What is good, everybody? It is your boy Champagne Chico, and yes, we are back with Chico's Choices. I am aware, I am aware for my people that do watch this on a weekly basis, I did not drop one last week. I was editing it, and right whenever I was about to post it, the file corrupted, basically had to make me do it all over again, and I had a lot that I wanted to do in that episode. So basically, I'm just gonna put the footage of me choosing which ones whenever i get to the point of starting to talk about this and talk about last week's record i don't know any specifics of last week's record but i do know a few teams that did screw me the Bengals continued to screw me um the saints lost to the bucks and the dolphins got blown out by the bills which i mean it was bound to happen at some point by somebody if it's going to be anybody i'm just glad it was the bills just because they're one of the better teams in the afc at least it wasn't like a team like the commanders who the eagles almost lost to or the Bears. So I don't even think we face the Bears or the Commanders, but a team like that is what I'm trying to say. Lions, Falcons, Dolphins, Vikings, Bears, Ravens, Steelers, Colts, Saints, Eagles, Bengals, Chargers, Cowboys, um, 49ers, Chiefs, and Seahawks. But last week i think we had a moderately decent week i don't think it was super horrible just the the locks that i had were not necessarily locks at least the cowboys did win um the 49ers won so that was refreshing but this week we do have a thursday night football game of the bears versus the commanders which the commanders made the eagles week last week very difficult for them and it was pretty satisfying because at finally the eagles have some sort of competition in the nfc east um because the cowboys usually lose to the eagles pretty not easily just like they tend to make like a slight comeback at the end and then end up losing but the commanders were in it basically the entire game with the eagles took them into overtime and wait actually maybe i'm reversing them but the commanders took the eagles into overtime regardless almost won it but the Eagles ended up coming out on top, so unfortunately the Eagles are still 4-0, and so are the 49ers. But Bears versus Commanders, for some reason I feel like this is going to be a tight game. The Bears were playing well offensively last week against the Broncos until their defense basically let the Broncos score 17 points, which it's not 100% the defense's fault. The offense still could have gotten at least a touchdown or even a field goal. But 17 unanswered points is not going to help you win games whenever you're trying to keep your franchise quarterback in Justin Fields. Justin Fields really trying his best, but ended up losing some steam towards the end of the game, it seems. So I think the commanders still end up coming out on top regardless. I do think that it's going to be a tight game up until the end, though. Bills versus Jaguars, that's a pretty easy one. It's the early one. They have the Jaguars playing back-to-back -back weeks over there in the international game. And I think it's going to be Bills. I think it's going to be Bills pretty easily. If the Jaguars are struggling to beat the Falcons, I mean, they weren't early on, but the Falcons started to make a slight pushback. But I think the Bills keep running through the NFL for right now. We're going to have to see if they stay healthy. Tredavious White is out for the season because he tore his Achilles. And that's unfortunate, but I just don't know if he's going to be able to play again. And I really do like watching him. Falcons versus Texans. <sighs> That's such a split game. That is such a split game in terms of like who I would want to choose because the Texans look good. CJ Stroud looks good. And that might be the route that I go, even though I like Bajon Robinson. Kyle Pitts is not being utilized. They're using Juwano Smith. I don't know what they have against Kyle Pitts. Drake London isn't being used. Bijan Robinson is the only one that's somewhat making the best out of his situation. I think the Texans win it in Atlanta. Panthers versus Lions. I think the Lions win this one pretty easily. The Lions have been playing very well. They need to give Gibbs more snaps. I feel like they're stunting his growth by not giving him the snaps that he needs when David Montgomery's getting like literal like push, like a literal push every time because he's only getting like 2.8 yards per run. They need to put Gibbs in more because he's very elusive. He's a very elusive back, but I have the Lions winning that one. Titans versus Colts. Titans had a good week. I mean, the Bengals are struggling, so they took advantage of that. But the Colts, Anthony Richardson looks great. That offense is hitting on all cylinders. They came back against the Rams last week. 
I think I'm going to have the Colts beating the Titans. I think I'm going to have the Colts beating the Titans. Getting straight into the next one, I'm going to say Dolphins. I'm sorry. I'm always going to go with the Dolphins unless it's like the Chiefs or something. Maybe not even then. I just have a lot of confidence in them unless we're like injured, injured. Right now, we're only missing Jalen Ramsey, who's probably going to be coming back soon. So hopefully that is something that happens because that cornerback room is struggling without him. Uh, we haven't even seen him in a Dolphins uniform this year. But Kahu was definitely screwing us with guarding Stefan Diggs. But I do have the Dolphins beating the Giants with the Giants hardly being able to stay in the game last game against the Seahawks. Daniel Jones being sacked 11 times. That O-line is not doing well at all. Saints versus Patriots. The Patriots, as I was uh, getting ready to make this video, got JC Jackson back from the Chargers, which is very interesting to me because JC Jackson did great in the Patriots, and I guess that's what got him a bag in Los Angeles with the Chargers. But he hasn't been playing well with the Chargers ever since he got there. I mean, he literally had a penalty against the Dolphins that was basically game-defying uh, later on because we were able to get a field goal before the end of the half. And now the Patriots get him back for basically nothing. I think they gave up like a fifth round pick and then they got back a seventh and JC Jackson. And I think he's going to be one of the better cornerbacks again because I think he is a system cornerback at this time or at this point. With the way that he's been playing with the Chargers, I think Bill Belichick is going to put him right back to what he was doing before. And the Saints, as long as Derek Carr is playing, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do much just because the defense is doing what they can. But Derek Carr is injured, and I don't know why he's playing through injury. I just don't believe in Mac Jones. I really don't. I'm going to go Saints. I'm going to go Saints again this week. I, I I just can't imagine the Patriots winning with Mac Jones unless somebody in their offense just ends up being amazing or their defense just scores all the points. I genuinely have the Saints. Alvin Kamara is supposed to be coming back this week, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that's just going to be unstoppable. Even if they have Derek Carr playing, I think they should just put Jameis or Taysom Hill in there because there's no point of risking Derek Carr for the rest of the season when you can make a push even with your backups. Um, the next one, Ravens at Steelers, another division matchup because the Ravens just faced the Browns not too long ago. I think it was last week. They beat them pretty good. Um, Ravens at Steelers. I'm going to have Ravens. The Steelers are struggling. Kenny Pickett, I think is out. I, I think I saw something whenever I was watching TV on ESPN that Kenny Pickett was out, but that Steelers defense does not looks like a shell of themselves and the offense was basically riding on the defense's coat hairs before as they usually are as the Steelers and I think the Ravens just beat them not pretty good I feel like I'm gonna say that and then they're gonna be a close game but with the way the Steelers lost this last week I've lost all confidence in them having a winning season this year and this might be Mike Tomlin's first losing season uh Bengals at Cardinals this the Cardinals are hot even though they've been losing they gave the 49ers a good fight they beat the cowboys i think the Bengals continue to struggle and i'm going with the cardinals i'm sorry I, I wish i could go with the Bengals again and if they end up winning great i'm just their own curse and whenever i decide that they're gonna win then they're gonna probably gonna lose but i'm gonna go with the cardinals i they're at home josh joshua dobbs has been doing well james connor has been doing well hollywood brown has been getting the ball i don't think they put kyler in like immediately but i have the cardinals in that one eagles at rams it's gonna be a good game for this one because i feel like matthew stafford is gonna give it his all i don't know if cooper cup comes back this week um i still have the eagles winning going five and zero possibly but i think i wouldn't be surprised if the rams win basically is what i'm trying to say um hmm Maybe, mm, I, I'm, I'm kind of second guessing myself. Maybe I go with the upset. I'm going to go with the upset. I'll have the Rams beating the Eagles. Um, Matthew Stafford has been playing well, but their O-line, ah, but their O-line, their O-line has like still three backups on it. Uh, they hardly beat the Colts this last week. It was an overtime touchdown. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go Eagles. I'm going to go Eagles, but I would be happy if the Rams won. Jets at Broncos. 
I think the Jets win this one. I think this is Zach Wilson's coming out game. He played well last week against the Chiefs. He made the Chiefs basically look not like a dynasty anymore. Um, Patrick Mahomes didn't play well that game, which is abnormal. I don't think that's going to be a consistent thing this season. But I think the Jets beat the Broncos. The Broncos are spiraling right now. They just released Randy Gregory, which was interesting to me. Um, I mean, he's hardly been doing anything as is. Chiefs at Vikings. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game, but the Chiefs are ultimately going to come out on top vikings have been struggling all season unless they literally force feed justin jefferson the entire game i just can't see the chiefs losing against the vikings no matter how close the game will be at the end i think it's going to be high scoring cowboys at 49ers i think i'm gonna have the 49ers i think i'm gonna have the 49ers going five and oh it's difficult because I think the Cowboys got back into their groove this last week. Um, I'm still kind of hesitant, though. I think I still will go 49ers. I like the 49ers. I hope they continue to be successful. Um, 49ers-Dolphins would be a great Super Bowl to me, even though with the way that we played last week against the Bills, we're going to have to pick it up because the defense is not playing well. Packers at Raiders. I think Jordan Love continues to develop and continues to show out. I don't think the Raiders win it because with the way that their QB room is looking right now, it's not looking great. Their defense can do everything that they can, but I think the Packers are going to do well this week. I think the Packers win it. So to sum it up, I pick, I think the Commanders, I think I did pick the Commanders, Commanders, Bills, Texans. Lions, Colts, Dolphins, Saints, Ravens, Cardinals, Eagles, Jets, Chiefs, 49ers, and the Packers. And I'm confident in that. I'm pretty confident in that. I, I like what I chose. Why is this still showing week four stuff? Um, Yeah, I think it's going to be a good week of football. I think Bryce Young kind of picks up his play a little bit if he doesn't that's going to be a little concerning i spoke very highly of him in my mock drafts before which i will have coming back very soon in terms of the mock drafts we've had a couple weeks of college football already or more than a couple and it's been pretty telling for some players pretty uh pretty good for some players pretty bad for others the teams on by right now are the browns chargers seahawks and buccaneers seahawks played tremendously right before their buys so did the bucks the chargers I'm concerned about the Chargers a little bit, but I think they're going to be fine. The Browns, they needed that bye after losing to the Ravens. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident in all those picks. I hope that you guys agree with me. If not, let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy, please go down there and like so more people can see this so we can have more dialogue with these videos and more Chico's Choices. And subscribe so you don't miss out on any more Chico Choices videos. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.